Hi, I'm Rakesh. Welcome back to our channel. It's been a long time since I have traveled or trekked anywhere, but I get a lot of questions asked about solo trekking. So in this episode, I will be going through some solo trekking information, which can be helpful for you. So before we begin, the main output which you will get from solo trekking or solo traveling is executing your plan, which you have already decided. The second thing is meeting people with similar interests. It will be very helpful for your next plans, next traveling or trekking plans. And the third thing is, and it's the most important one, is getting rid of the fear of traveling alone. And regarding this channel, I'm trying to move from just traveling and trekking part to something related to lifestyle, which will be helpful for others in day-to-day -day life. Enjoy the episode and yeah. Let's start with why I started going solo. I had a list of 50 treks on which I had to go within a year. Sadly, the list never got completed. I wasn't like trying to go on complete solo. It wasn't my intention. At the beginning, a lot of my treks would get cancelled just because of someone else. And it was frustrating from me because I used to plan like my entire week like this is going to happen. First two, three times it was okay. But later I was like, see, I'm missing my goals. I'm missing a lot. So I decided to go solo. So the first solo trek would be, yeah, it, always Seagard. Seagard was my first solo trek. Many people have done it. It's not a very big thing. Then I started to explore a bit tough. So I have visited Rajgarh many times. I always went with group. So I decided to do Seagard to Rajgarh <laughs> on foot. I couldn't complete the trek. I went from Seagard to the main road of Velle. And from there, I took a lift from truck and from there, I came to Vajir and from Vajir to my home. I went once to Harishchandragad by bus. I went at the base. It was raining. I, I couldn't complete it. I couldn't find the way. I got lost and I came back from there. A year later, I did same trek with Vikas. The first step is to telling everyone. My family was always informed. That was one difficult thing to do to convince your family that I am going on a solo trek. Even though the trek is nearby within 100, 200 kilometers, it's very difficult for family, parents, your brother, your sibling, anyone to trust you, allowing you to go on a solo trek. I started showing how I do my trek solo, which I started recording. I showed how I do this. This is the place I stayed and they saw a few youtube episodes which i made and they were like okay fine he is doing good like my family is now used to it that was a difficult part so the second thing you have to overcome is convincing your family friends or sibling i wasn't aware of the things i required the most like the first is power bank like power bank without power bank you can't do a trick for first at least five six tricks i never had a power bank i used to switch on flight mode I used to turn it on. I used to take small videos, five or 10 second videos only because recording videos consumes the most battery on a trek. And also the GPS treks where a stay is available, where you can stay inside a temple or somewhere in a cave. It was easy, but later I started challenging myself. There came the part about camping. On few treks, tent is a must. Without tent, you can't complete it. You can build a like a small hut or something, anything from the nature, but it would consume a lot of time and energy. So that was my second thing to get a tent. I didn't have a sleeping bag. I would just take a small shawl or my jacket. I avoided cooking a lot because if I had to cook on a trip, I would have to bring something to build fire, water, something to cook, rice. A lot of things came behind it. But later, I started exploring more. I decided to cook on a few treks. If a lot of people are there, like more than two or three people, then sure. Then we have cooked like a lot of good meals on a trip. It's, it's scary at the beginning, but later you get used to it. Yeah, actually you don't get used to it. Now I have taken a six months of gap on any trek because it's very hot out there. Now if I go on a solo trek on anywhere, I will be scared. If I do a trek every week, every two, three weeks, then I will be like, ah, it's nothing. I know this is the sound. It's normal. Fear at night, you can't avoid it. Dark Bairi, I was quite scared at the night because there was 
there was a very different animal making noise then comes the traveling part that is very frustrating part so if you are going on a bike you will have to drive through the entire journey and it's quite tiresome like i did kalsubai oh my god for kalsubai i had to travel drive a lot it's a very long journey and after driving there i also had to climb the entire fort that was a tough one because it was the longest i think so yeah it was the longest place from my home and then i trekked i stayed on kursubai kursubai was like the purest solo trek i had ever done kursubai and kalavanti durga from right first point of my home to the trek and to back kursubai and kalavanti bhairavgarh is also far from my home but kursubai was very difficult i while returning because i was so tired and had to drive <sighs> it is challenging because you are not used to driving so much if you are going with a four wheeler it will be easy yeah i think so taking a four wheeler will be easy but it won't be economical as much as using petrol on a bike the truth about solo tri- trekking is you aren't always going alone it's quite exception few times that you will go somewhere and you won't find anyone you will find someone there that's the thing you get you meet people with similar interests on solo trek you have to carry food you have to carry tent you have to carry sleeping bag everything you have to do it on your own it's a good learning experience i wouldn't recommend going on a solo intentionally try it once it's a good experience you can overcome a lot of your fear if you have any questions about solo trekking do comment below if you have any suggestions for other solo trekkers like any link of a blog or anything do mention it for now <laughs> that's it if you enjoyed the episode like subscribe and share thank you for watching and travel safe